Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create pipe doubler plate in Tecla structures, just like this. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla structures with the US environment. Now I'm going to create column. So click on steel and select this column and click on here to place the column. Right click on mouse interrupt, zoom it and rotate like this. Now I'm going to create views. So click on grid, right click on mouse, create views along grid lines. Then click on create and then click on OK and click on OK. Now I'm going to change column profile. So double click on this column. Click on here. Let's take pipe column. Now click on modify. You can see by default we have pipe 8 STD. Now I'm going to change this profile. So click on here. Let's take pipe 12 STD. Now click on apply. OK. Now click on modify to see the result. Now close this window here. Now I'm going to open elevation on grid 2. So go to view list by using the shortcut control I. Now let's take elevation on grid 2 and click on this arrow to open. Now close this window here. Now zoom it. Now I'm going to create beam at this location. So click on steel and select this beam and click on here first point and just place cursor on grid. Don't click on it. Just place the cursor on grid and type. Let's take 3 feet. Now click on enter on your keyboard to create beam like this. Now right click on this interrupt. Now click on window and select this 3D view. You can see now you will get like this. Now use the shortcut control 2 for shaded view. You can see by default this beam inside of this pipe. Now I'm going to use the connection at this location. So go to application and component by using the shortcut control F. In search bar type pipe. Then you will get this component pipe double plate component. So select this component and pick the main part as a column and pick the second part as a beam. Now close this window here, right click on mouse interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse, do view. You can see by default we have double plate like this. Now use the shortcut control R and pick the rotation point here. You can see you will get like this. Now I am going to edit this plate, so right click on mouse interrupt, now double click on this plate. You can see you will get like this. You will get this window. Now I'm going to change the plate thickness. So click on this parts tab. Let's take here by default we have 3 by 4 inch. Okay, let's take here off inch. Now click on modify to see the result here. You can see now this plate thickness should be off inch. Now click on this picture tab. In picture you can control. You can control the edge distance from this option. For example, let's take by default we have one and a half inch. Let's take here one inch on top and bottom of this pin. Then click on modify to see the result. Now we have the edge distance here 1 inch. Similarly, we can control in this direction also. For example, by default we have edge distance here 3 inch. Now we have the option here edge and we have spacing here 3 inch. Okay, let's take here 2 inch on both sides. Then click on modify to see the result. You can see now th this spacing should be 2 inch. Now we have another option here with the angle. You can also control this uh, spacing in this direction with the angle also. For example, by default I have 45 degrees from center of this plate to edge of this plate. For example, let's take here 40 degrees on both sides. Let's take angular and enter here 40 degrees. Now click on modify. You can see now this plate angle should be 40 degrees from center of this plate. Okay. Now we have another option here, dimension. Let's take dimension here. From this dimension, you can control from the center of this plate to edge of this plate dimension instead of edge distance. For example, let's take here 4 inch on both sides. Now click on modify. You can see now we have 4, four inch dimension from center to edge of this plate. Okay, let's take 5 inch here on both sides. Now click on modify. You can see now we have 5 inch distance. Okay, for example, we have edge distance. So let's take edge distance. As per your dimension, you can change these options from this option. Okay, let's take edge distance and uh, edge distance is the 2 inches and then click on modify. You'll get like this. Now, you can control here fillet radius here from this option. For example, fillet radius, let's take here 2 inch. Now, click on modify. You'll get fillet radius like this from this option. Then click on modify, apply, okay. Click on space, right click on mouse. Read review. You'll get like this. Similarly, 
you can also use uh, this type of connection for pipe also for example let's take pipe click on this column and click on here right click mouse interrupt now click on window and select this view list let's take elevation on grid 3 click on this arrow or to open now go to create pipe at this location so close this window now click on this beam and zoom it here pick the first point here center and just place the cursor on grid and enter let's take three feet length then click on enter by default we have i section profile now we're going to change this profile so right click on the interrupt double click on this i section profile now click on here and select this pipe option now we have pipe 6 std then click on modify now we're going to change this pipe 6 std then click on here let's take pipe 8 std then click on apply ok then click on modify you'll get like this now close this window here now click on window and select this 3d view you'll get like this now i'm going to give the connection so go to application components by using the shortcut ctrl f select this pipe double or plate component and pick the main part as a column and pick the second part as a this pipe now close this window right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse redraw view you can see now we have double or plate like this if you want to use the circular double or plate then double click on this plate click on here and select this circular and we need to enter here length this diameter of this pipe is the 8 inch we require edge distance for example let's take 2 inch then we need to enter here 12 inch means 1 feet then click on modify we have an error so let's take here 9 inch click on modify you'll get like this okay let's take 10 inch like this okay now we have one inch edge distance on both side then click on modify apply okay click on space right click on mouse review you'll get like this okay that's it about how to create pipe doubler plate in tecla structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gany sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope this videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you